it takes faith to step out when you feel like you've heard the word, especially a word from the Lord that says jump in Jehoshaphat. Like, Although we all in here are very open to those kinds of phrases because we're a peculiar people. Amen. He speaks like that to us. And so it is funny to me how each one of us has a different personality and the Lord will speak to us right where we are. Amen. For exactly who you are. And he speaks to you through your personality. And then when you speak, we get that portion of who God is in the earth. And the word says that every joint supplies to the next. So just because you might think it sounds crazy, it doesn't mean it's not going to supply life to somebody else. He's given me a word that was so crazy, I could, but he said, go speak that to them. And I did, and they hit the ground, and they said, you don't even know what that meant. No, I don't. But he knows. Because he knows the hearts of every man. Every man. And so I had asked Nathan to bring a word today. And so this is what the enemy does. He ends up showing up with no guitar player. Puts pressure here. Come on. I mean, that's just the way the enemy does. And I think sometimes the Lord allows it because he wants to see where what we're going to do with it. Come on now. He wants to see, are you going to worship me no matter what? Because it's really, I say to people all the time, if all of this went away, all the sound, all the dancing, all the flags, as beautiful as they all are, and that they minister to me, that's why we do it, because it ministers to me. But don't minister to anybody else. It ministers to me. But are you still going to worship? Are you still going to have your eyes on Him? Are you going to worship Him in spirit and in truth? Is there going to be an intimacy with you and the Lord if everything else fades away? Who do we say He is? You know, He took Peter up on that mount. I mean, up. Uh, he took the disciples up to Caesarea Philippi in the middle of all kinds of idol worship. And He said, who do, how do men say that I am? And then He said, who do you say I am? When we operate in fear and in unbelief, you need to hear what I'm telling you. You don't know who your God is. You need to ask yourself that question every single time. If you have a f thought of fear in your mind, listen, this is the month. Let me tell y'all something. There's this... Y'all better raise your hands right now and receive an impartation of a deliverance from every generational curse that has been uh, attached to your lineage from, from way back when. The Lord is supernaturally moving right now. You need to allow Him to break poverty off of your mind, off of your lineage. You need to allow Him to break... Um, a uh, 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 mental illness off of your bloodline. You need to declare that you have a sound mind, that you operate in abundance and overflow to advance the kingdom of God. We are fixing to move into a brand new head of the new Hebrew year in September. Listen, you got to cut some mess off. You cannot have disbelief and unbelief in your life. The one thing that pleases God is faith. Yeah, I say that there's a new level and a measure of faith that's rising up on the inside of every single person under the sound of my voice. Lay your hand on your gut right here on your belly and say, Faith arise! Faith arise! Holy Ghost, stir it up! Stir it up in me! Give me the faith to raise the dead! Ha! You don't have it? Woo, I got mine. Hello. Come on now. You got a trumpet. Blow your trumpet. Sound your alarm.
Hallelujah. Worship Him. Come on.